the heart, about the size of your fist. Looking after your heart is looking after your iman. The Prophet ﷺ has referred to the heart when he said, "Ala wa inna fil jasadi mudga," that indeed there is a morsel of flesh in your body, and if it is good and whole, then the whole body is good and whole. Ala wa hiya al qalb, that it is the heart. Now that we discuss the issue of the nafs, and one of the ways of taming the nafs is to do lots of dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa taala, you will make your heart more receptive towards listening to the commands of Allah and more receptive in wanting to reach a higher goal of iman in the aim of reaching ihsan. Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran, "Awman kana maitan fahiyinahu wa jalna lahu nura yamshi bihi fi nas." The nur that's referred here to the Mufassirin explain is like giving light to a dead heart, making something alive and making something reborn. The darkness referred to here is the dead heart. And so we yearn to make our hearts full of light by the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, عَبَسَ وَتَوَلَّ أَن جَاءَهُ الْأَعْمَى وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّهُ يَزَّكَّى this is a verse in the Quran referring to an incident where an individual came to the Prophet ﷺ by the name of Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum anhu. And he was blind. Allah had taken away his physical sense of being able to see, but the real sight of the heart to know who is Allah, the real inner sightfulness of knowing who is your creator, he had. He could see more than most of us. Such that, he was, when the Prophet ﷺ would leave, he would deputize him. He was also the flag bearer for the Battle of Qadisiyah. Even if you know your history, this was a famous battle. And in this battle, he was, it was narrated that he had many, many injuries. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him iman, gave him taqwa, gave him an insight because his heart could see, his heart could recognize what is the haqq, what is the truth. So ask yourself, where is your heart? Ask yourself, what is it that you're going to do to keep your heart firm and strong upon the faith so that you, are, that you have that sight, that God consciousness to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more?